Hey, what's up, everybody? Fun fact, we were originally going to review some uh, Will, For Will Ferrell, Will Forte, Jamie Foxx, Isla Fisher, Talking Dog, well, not Talking Dog, technically, Dog voiceover movie. Oh, it was not good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I didn't want to see a lot of the movie. I didn't want to see any more of the movie, and Kay is really upset at me because, well, you... No. You got to see... He was... Jesse was just joking. Jesse? Wasn't that his name? I don't know. It was better than the names that Will Forte called him. Stupid dog. Yeah, it's like... Things. There's like, what, 300 uses of the F word in that movie? But, hey, you got to see Will Forte's butt, so you got what you wanted. Oh, God. Okay, bye, guys. No. Knock it off. Why can't I say... Why can't I... Okay, fine, people. She doesn't like to see do, most dudes' butts. There, you happy? Don't generalize women. It was just National Women's Day. Don't generalize us, please. This is March... This is uh, April when we're reviewing this. Okay, but we saw the movie back when. Let me turn down the camera so you're in more of the frame. So anyway, we were going to, we were watching that, but then about like a half an hour in, we were like, this is just, this is just gross and unfunny and Garbage. bad. Garbage. So instead we went to Netflix because we're rolling like that. And we saw, um, what did we see? We saw No Hard Feelings, as you can tell from the title somewhere. This one starred, What? That's okay. Go this on. one starred Jennifer Lawrence, um, some dude, Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Um, Who is made to look like a space scientist, like Albert Einstein type. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that? That lady's name. You said you looked her up after. Well, there's, there's a woman and there's the mother in this movie, um... I know her because on the late show she played Melania Trump. Ah, okay. She was like Melissa Benodi or Benati Benodi, something like that. She was on the show uh, Supergirl, I think, mm. or Lois and Superman, or Superman and Lois, some something like that. She was on some show. Okay. Um, okay. Kyle Mooney is in this movie, and Aziz Ansari is also in. Or, no, wait, not, not a season, sorry. Uh, Hassan Minaj, I apologize. Yep. I'm not racist, people. Um, they were both on The Daily Show. Cut me a little... No, okay, no, they weren't. I'm sorry. That's, that's worse. So, anyway. Jennifer Lawrence is basically... This is like a very out-of-character... I've... This... I've never seen her play this kind of role, I don't think. Hmm. Usually she tends to play like either underdog characters or women that have their stuff together. In this, she kind of plays like, well, Will Forte's character from that dog movie. Okay, not That's as bad. bad. <laughs> not as bad. Come on. Oh. Basically, God, it that. starts with her getting her uh, car repossessed. Yep. Um, and it, she had to pay property taxes on her mom's place. Mm -hmm. And something, there's something about her dad. I forgot. Oh, he had an affair with her mom. That's how she came along and then disowned them when she, her, her mom had her. And then they, he went back to his life in the city. I thought this movie was supposed to be taking place in California. turns out it was actually taking place in New York. It could have taken place in California. I don't know why it didn't, but whatever. So anyway... Uh, yeah, because how much surfing is on the East Coast? Um, Are you sure they were in Maine? No, they New were York? in New York. That's that's what it said on Wikipedia. I looked up the... I, I looked at the homepage... Or I looked at the page and it the city was in New York. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway... Uh, She's rollerblading to work and, I guess, school. 
Was there a reason why she was at that school? She was at that school, you remember? Which school? There was like a school where she was talking to somebody. I don't remember that. It was at the beginning. Somebody okay. from her class wanted to sell her place, but I don't remember her being at okay. a school. So anyway, okay. she's a bartender and there's kind of a funny there's kind of a funny joke where the bar where the owner of the bartender hired her because she, she thought she had a disability. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> okay, I well, I'm kind of glad they kept it vague. Yeah, she never did say what is my disability. Uh it's it's called being friends with Amy Schumerism. Oh god. She needed cash to pay the property taxes or she could lose her mom's house. And be homeless because she was also an Uber driver. Yeah. So then she sees about <laughs> how it's basically there's basically a rich like helicopter parents with us with a kid who's like very in his shell, shall we say. Yeah. Doesn't leave his so, room, plays video games, doesn't have friends. Doesn't drink we'll be going like that's a Princeton. bad thing. We'll be going to Princeton and so they just wanted to Hire somebody. The payment was going to be a Buick. Yeah, to be his and... to be his girlfriend, pretty yeah. much. So Jennifer Lawrence is like, okay, she's like thirty four. Thirty two. She's thirty two, but I think in real life she's like thirty four. Mm. I will say this: she still could pass for like mid twenties, mid late twenties. Well, that's what she was hoping to do with her parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With his parents, but... By the way, this up this movie generated controversy because her character was 32 and the boy was like 17. I thought it was 19. No, he would have been 17 because he didn't... He was graduating high school. I thought he said it was 19. Oh, well. <sighs> and it's like, oh, now Hollywood cares about age differences and relationships. Well, they never did have sex, so. Unofficially. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, this movie kind of reminds me of a, maybe a better updated version of The Girl Next Door. Mm, that maybe. Emile Hirsch, she wasn't Alicia Cuthbert movie. She wasn't a porn star. She just was. Spoiler alert. She couldn't commit in relationships. Yeah, she was kind of like the definition of um, party girl or just get by. She was kind of like an F girl. Freaky hot. Mm, got it. So during so during this, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of like weirdness where she he gets where he drinks wine, um, shows his nanny Jody, um, which is a guy, and falls in and falls in love with Jennifer Lawrence's character. However, Maddie. However, the problem is is that he eventually finds out that Maddie is kind of only into him for the car. Right. And that's when he tells him what happened in the car. You don't remember? Can I say it? If you want to, you pick this movie. His grandfather shot himself in the car. And she was like, oh. <laughs> so what was really funny is, okay, she got the car. The Well, he crashed the car. Yeah, it kind of broke the car. Um, Had a tree fall on top of it. According to I am according to IMDb trivia, that's kind of like a reference to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, okay. And that's when Matthew, Matthew Broderick, Broderick, and when Matthew Broderick was put put that said that line like, he's nothing like me when I was a kid. That's that's also implied to be a reference to Ferris Bueller's Day Off mm, as well. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> She, I think Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a little funnier than this. She was still an Uber driver <laughs> with the dented top of the car. Yeah, with like and, the broken stuff. And she went she went to pick up these two girls and they're like, you're our Uber driver. Yes, get oh, in the car. Get in oh, the car. <laughs> there's there's one part I forgot to mention. There, or, well, 
There's kind of like three parts that I forgot to mention. One, one, uh, yes, Jennifer Lawrence does get naked, and for that I am grateful. Two, uh, when she meets the when when she's <laughs> in the car driving that guy, driving that kid, that kid like sprays him, sprays her with like pepper spray or mace because she was coming down really strong <laughs> and thought he was and thought she was like a predator. Well, because she was borrowing the guy's van, and there were knives and and saws and stuff in the back of the van. <laughs> oh yeah, because it was the fisherman's car, right? Yeah. And then there's like a third part Three. where there's a third part where she's going to this party and oh I I don't know the if Princeton mixer yeah I don't know if it's like a I don't know if she ad libbed or not but she might have because she said like does anyone does anyone have sex anymore yeah. <laughs> every door she opened um, they were either acting a play. Or they were watching TV. Or they were just they were sitting their... sitting and reading or something. Yeah. Um, and then she she makes a uh, comment about she makes a comment about two dudes and they're like, Oh really? And so then they everybody, put out their phones. Everybody has their phone out. Yeah, everyone is doing like a vlog or everyone is like live live vlogging. Yeah. For TikTok or something. That's how they make their money. Yeah, I guess you make money from TikTok. Or having a blog. <laughs> I don't. Anyway, uh, oh, and, you want to come and I know you, people, I'm going to get into a little bit of inside baseball right now. <sighs> hey. Here's Kinsey. Look at the screen. See? Come on, aren't you happy? Yeah, that's close <laughs> enough. Anyway, just put him down there. He'll be fine. He'll jump down. No, he won't. Okay. There you go. I have to wash it. Now, Inside Baseball, I know you don't want to see any more Stephen King movies, but... What's Inside Baseball? Like, just saying, like, behind-the-scenes stuff in oh, public. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hmm. But you kind of saw The Shining tonight. You kind of saw The Shining. How? The part where she like breaks open the door and then she like sticks her head through oh, it like yeah hello are you here yeah. or something um well then he asked her out on the real date after the pepper spray yeah <laughs> um, she asks him to get a hose <laughs> he brings the hose over and he's he wants to start spraying but no water comes out and then she's like you have to turn it on <laughs> oh oh and then he's it's like wow her. how sheltered is he that he doesn't know how to use a hose <laughs> he's spraying her and she's like what <laughs> he's spraying her all over yeah. she just wanted it in the face her eyes were burning they were all red around now them and... you thought that jennifer lawrence used a body double i didn't say that yeah for the nude scenes when did i say that when when that scene happened, you were like, "I said I can't believe she did that." No, you you said she okay, used a okay, double. Okay, I said, but I don't. You said she used a double, and I was like, "No, she said that that was her." And okay. then you said, "Like, why would she do this?" And I was like, "She said this movie was like one of her best pro, one of her favorite projects that she's done." Hmm. It's not a great movie. It's, it's not got like some funny parts. It had some funniness, but it wasn't like super funny. And then, then she like it's not something I'm her, gonna want. Oh, her friend, <coughs> her friend was pregnant, and mm -hmm. she made a mobile for the um. Yeah, like a spinning, a spinning yeah, thing. Yeah, made out of surfboards. They and were surfboards she hanging from and they it. clearly hated it. Yeah, they're like, oh, nice. Do you really like this? I don't like it. <laughs> Get rid of it. But anyway. Um, I just wish it was like maybe a little funnier. It was like too. It felt. I don't know if this is like a dramedy, but I would have liked it more if it was like more of like a goofball comedy kind of. I will say this: I I think I laughed more in this movie than I did in Trainwreck, mm. which is a very low bar. Okay. I 
don't remember Trainwreck. I don't know if you ever saw it. It was the Amy Schumer movie. Yeah, I don't see much of her stuff. Mm -mm. No. Nothing. No, it, it was creative. She plays a character named Amy. Yeah, that's really creative. Okay, anyway, do you recommend it? I mean, if it's a snowy or rainy day out... It's a good it's a good rental. Or if you want to get out of mowing the grass next month. It's a good rental. It's good. Uh, I've I've said this I've said this all the time. Like whenever there's one, whenever there's whenever you're an actor and you're pigeonholed into often doing like dramas or uh, action films or something, I'd like to see you do like I I don't like to see actors constantly play the same character or well, do the this same was roles. Definitely. So I applaud her. So I applaud her for doing something, for branching out, doing something I've never seen her do before in mm -hmm. a type of, in a type of, in a performance. It's kind of like when I, I didn't love the Munsters movie, but I applauded Rob Zombie for doing a PG film mm -hmm. where he had to use other words in the English language. Well, it turned out good in the end. She did good deeds in the end. Yeah, and at well, I'm I'm not going to spoil no, what happens at, no. at the Let very end of the movie. Let people watch it and see. Oh, there there was a there was a. Oh, what about the dinner? You going to say about the dinner? I was going to mention um the car scene. Oh, okay. with the cops. Okay. But yeah, Jennifer Lawrence looked like she was having a ton of fun in this role. I would like to see a sequel to this movie. I don't know how they'd make a sequel, oh, but I'd like maybe to. Maybe when he finishes college or something and heads out to California, or she comes back. She didn't really like living in the area, so I could think of it like a, a seashore town because she and everybody else didn't like all the tourists that came what in, if, spent all the money and everything. What if they did a sequel where it was like this, but she was being like a pay-to-date a woman? No. Yuck. Come on. Why? How is that a sequel? They It'd have a different. daughter. They have a daughter. Or no, it's else? another fam. But it's another got, family. Right, but she already got the money. She got the money to pay the property taxes. She got the money to do what she needed to do. She could have. She got. The she car. could have bet in crypt. She could have bet on crypto. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Or she could. She could have lost. Just, she could have lost money in like some Ponzi scheme or something. Okay, let's just wrap it up. She didn't have that much money. Right? <laughs> Come on. Join us next time when we're when we'll take a look at a Lori Laughlin movie. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.